Hello and welcome everyone. Today we are going to be looking at the frozen food car, Norfolk and Western. All right, let's open it up and see what we got for parts. Inside the box, there should be an underframe detail part. There should be an underframe, a bag of parts, and of course the body with all six refrigerator containers. There will also be a weight and instructions. Inside the bag of parts, there should be two trucks, two screws for the trucks, a brake wheel, two horn and hook couplers, which we will not be using. We will be using two KD number no. five hooks and springs and two coupler box covers. All right, for assembly, we're gonna start with the underframe. Now we have the underframe detail part here, which is directional. All you wanna do with this, just make sure there's no flashing on it. Same with the actual underframe here. Okay, and once you've checked all that over, you can take and stick the detail part inside here. Now make sure all the parts are facing down when you stick it in, and then it just presses down inside of the underframe like that. Make sure nothing's sticking up. Flip it over, and we can do our hooks now. We are gonna use these KD number fives. Put the spring in, put the coupler in, give them a little shot of KD grease them. And then we go ahead and stick our coupler box covers on and they just snap down into place and you might want to just check it, make sure that it is fully engaged with the clip so that it doesn't come off on you. And now for the other side as well. All right, so once that's done, you can put that off to the side and grab your body here. You want to make sure same thing, body doesn't have any flashing in here. Sometimes there's a sprue in the middle here which might stick up, make sure that's all clean, all in where the coupler boxes go. And all we have to do here is put the brake wheel on. So let's try the brake wheel in there. Is it gonna be snug? Oh yeah. So as long as that brake wheel goes in there nice and snugly, you don't need any glue. And we flip it over and we'll take our weight, which we have already painted, and we gotta make sure that it's straight. We've already done that. Go ahead and stick it in. Down, make sure it sits down flat. And then we can go ahead and put our underframe in. Make sure the coupler boxes are all the way in, it's all the way down, and then we can go ahead and put our trucks on. Make sure you don't tighten them down too much and make sure that the wheels are free. And they're not gonna bind up on you. Okay, there, our gondola is essentially done. So we gotta check for the height of the hooks and then we can go from there. So as you can see here, we have our gondola on the height gauge. And uh, as you can see here, the hook is definitely too low. So we're going to have to ch either change the hook or put washers underneath the wheels. But I think we're going to change the hook. So we are going to be putting in an underset shank hook. You can see the hook head is set a little higher on the shank than the other one. So after we put in the upper set shank hook, you can see there it lines up real nicely. Nothing touches all good to go now. All we have left now to do is put in our refrigerator containers and they just sit inside the car like so. And then we're all ready for the layout. <laughs> 